Hey guys, Danny Johnson here, and so I just want to talk about the center force clutch that I installed in my Mach 1. You can see all those counterweights around the front of it. And so this was back in 2010. It was a long time ago. And so I had bought the car with a bad transmission, and I wanted to do everything right. Turned in a different clutch, replaced it with uh, this center force one. And so years down the road, um, all these counterweights, uh, I just wasn't really happy with the idea of them being in there. It's a lot of them, a lot of extra weight. My cousin, I installed the same clutch on his car. He got a bad vibration when one of them had somehow come out. And uh, they don't come out easy. In fact, as you'll see, you have to actually pull the transmission back to get the weights out because the weights go in behind the diaphragm fingers and lock in. And I'll show you what that looks like uh, a little bit later here. But uh, here's a quick video of it running. And uh, you can just kind of see, it doesn't seem like it would be in balance uh, you can already see the difference of that ring, uh, the line that kind of goes up and down here as I rev the car up and down. And so um, I wanted to remove them. I had some other things I wanted to change, a really bad pivot ball stud and uh, a new clutch fork and some other things. So uh, since I had to take it all apart anyway, I threw a whole bunch of new parts in and uh, just wanted to get rid of some bad vibration that I was having and some other issues. But uh, the question was on the center force clutch, can you remove these weights without removing the transmission? And so in this case, for this car, which is a 2003 Ford Mustang Mach 1, uh, which has the TR3650 five speed, so the same five speed that you have in all the Mustang GTs, um, basically from 2001 and uh, into the end of that body style, uh, you won't be able to get these weights off because they will hit the uh, throwout bearing as you snug them down. So I went ahead and cut the wire and uh, it was kind of a no turning back process. I was prepared to drop the transmission anyway. And uh, so I cut the wire and, and found that those weights will not come off uh, unless you pull the transmission back. So maybe that's the question you have if you're in the same situation. So here's how these weights come out. They go forward on the diaphragm finger and then out so you can see they have like a little t-shape so they kind of go in on the behind the diaphragm finger so that's why you have to have the transmission separated because this has got to come all the way out and through the front and with the throwout bearing in the way there's just not enough room take two hands for that also have our ring here This is what they all go against. So that's out. It's like doing orthodontics work over here. Just pulling teeth. So in the end, I did uh, just start uh, removing the transmission. I've done that job several times and I uh, have a transmission jack, some other things. And you can see the difference here on the pivot ball stud. The one on the left was completely trashed. So it was good any way that I had uh, pulled it apart to change out some other parts. And uh, I removed everything in here. You gotta make sure that none of these parts fall down and go inside the clutch or you'll have to remove the clutch too. So just be really careful as you're removing them. You might wanna use a magnet as well uh, so that nothing falls down in there. It really helps. I'm in here. Thanks. Thank you, sir. So if you've been following along, I ordered uh, a new throwout bearing, a new clutch fork, a new pivot ball stud, and. Uh, you know, that's basically what I was doing inside the transmission portion of it. I think it's just worth it to put the extra 50 bucks into a new throwout bearing. The one I had was still fine, but uh, you have all that work to drop the transmission. It's tough, and I really appreciate my brother coming over and helping me get it back up in there. So I just wanted to show you what was on the center force uh, clutch kit. So these are all of the weights, all these counterweights. If you look at them, they're pretty hefty, and they slide onto the diaphragm finger, so you can't really get them off unless you take the clutch out. 
um, or at least r remove the transmission like I had to do. And so they slide back and forth up against this ring. I mean, that's just so much extra weight. You know, I don't think it's uh, necessary. There's virtually no other clutch kits have it. I didn't really notice a difference. And so I decided just to remove them. I was afraid that they'd cause some ba balancing issues. I was getting kind of a bad vibration. And that's just so much weight, you know, to add to the outside of the clutch. So uh, my cousin had these on his clutch too because he had the center force that I had installed. And uh, I guess one of them on his had come out and it was laying down in the transmission. And so it was really out of balance. You can imagine just missing one of these, what kind of uh, damage that would do. So anyway, I got rid of them, took them out, and uh, you do have to basically pull the transmission back for it to clear the throw out bearing to get them out. So I'm really happy that I got this done and got it done in a few days time. I have full videos on how to do this that I'll put in the video description if you're needing to drop the transmission, change your clutch or anything like that. And so uh, just get the new pivot ball stud and I'd recommend a new clutch fork if yours is having a hard time clamping onto it. All these little parts, it's not worth having to go pull the transmission again. So just spend the money that you need to get it done the right uh, the first time. But uh, anyway, now she rips pretty good.